I'm going to show you how to create two simple brackets that you can use to mount your Meanwell power supply for your 3D printer to the underside of your IKEA LAC table. Let's start by coming up to Create Sketch, and we're going to select the top plane here. So when your triad comes up, click on Top. And from here, I'm going to come to Create, and I'm going to look for Slot, Center Point Slot. Click on the center and drag out. And we want this dimension to be 18 millimeters. And I'm going to set another dimension by making two lines, a line here and a line here. And with your sketch palette, you can select both of them, hold down shift to select both of them and hit construction. And now come to tangent up here, this constraint. Click on the line, click on the arc. Same thing here on the other side. And now we're going to click sketch dimension and set a dimension between these. And I want this to be 153 millimeters. And there we have our initial shape. Now I'm going to hit finish sketch. And now I'm going to come to extrude and I'm going to type in 5.08. And if you want, you can flip this dimension to be negative 5.08. That's going to automatically flip it to the other side. And we can begin a sketch here on this face. And this sketch is just going to have a few points. So I'm going to create a couple of points and I want it to be in line with the origin, so you can kind of hover over the origin and drag out. And two of the points are going to be right here in the center of the arc. So you could just kind of hover until it pops up, and it will. And you can just click to make the point, and it'll automatically constrain it in that spot. Now, we're going to make the actual constraint now and click on the center, click on the, the other point, and that's going to automatically set these constraints. And if any of this uh, seems alien to you, please check out my uh, beginner's tutorial on Fusion 360. Uh, without further ado, we're going to add a couple more dimensions. I'm going to make a dimension of 42.5 between this point and this point. And same thing here. I can just click on this dimension and hit OK. And now what we want to do is we want to make a couple of hole features. So I'm going to come to Hole, and I'm going to click on this point and this point. And for the actual dimension, what we want to do is make this a simple hole, but it's going to be a clearance hole with a flat end, and it's going to be a clearance hole for a number 10. So I'm going to come to ANSI and come to number 10, and that's going to make the simple hole, which is a clearance hole. And just going to hit OK. So now we have two simple holes here, and we're going to add a little bit of a more um, complex hole now. Come back to your hole feature and click on these two points. And we're going to set this to be a socket head cap screw. But it's going to be a metric profile. And the reason why we're using metric screws is because these are the screws that come with the Meanwell power supply. So the size is going to be an M4. And it's going to be a counter bore. And it's going to be a clearance hole for a counter bore and flat. So be sure to select these options counter bore, clearance, flat. And it's really going to be through all. So you can just select all. You can do the same thing on the other one. So counter bore, clearance, flat. And it's going to be an ANSI metric screw. But um, it's going to be an M4 socket head uh, cap screw.
And with all of these things um, selected, um, we can hit OK. And there we have our pockets. You may have noticed that we have quite a thin section here at the base of these holes. What we're going to do to combat this is I'm going to come to press pull and I'm going to click on this face. And what I could do is just drag it a little bit and you're going to see that it's a little bit thicker. Now, depending on the material that you're printing with, you may not need to do this. If you're printing with, say, a polycarbonate or a very strong material, which you know your printer can create a strong part of, then you won't need to do this. But just to be safe, I'm going to drag this out a little bit and I'm going to hit OK. What you want to do from here is print the two brackets and screw them to the power supply. Then you want to take your number 10 screws that are at least two inches long, drill some holes using the brackets as a guide once they're screwed onto the power supply, and fit your four screws through the table all the way through and then through the black bracket. And you may need to push it into place with your finger. From here, all you have to do is take a washer and a nut and just screw it in all the way to the top and that will fasten your bracket to the underside of the lac table.